How do you convert decimals into fractions? For example, how would you turn 0.7 or 7 tenths into a fraction? In this lesson, you will learn how to convert decimals to fractions to the tenths place by using number lines. You know that fractions can be shown in different ways. For instance, we have the fraction 1 fourth, and this is what it would look like in an area model. One part out of four is shaded in. This is what it would look like represented as a set, and you also know that one fourth can be shown as a value on a number line. And fractions can also be represented as decimals. You know that the top number in the fraction is called the numerator, and that's how many parts you have. And the number at the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator, and that is how many equal parts make up the whole. You also know that equivalent means that the values are equal. And so fractions and decimals can be equivalent, and fractions can be equivalent to each other. For instance, one half would be equal to two fourths when we're talking about the same whole. You also know where a digit is located in a number is important because it tells you the value of that digit in the number. So we can plot numbers on a place value chart to help us understand the value of the number. The green, yellow, and orange all show whole numbers. And then you have the decimal point, which separates the whole number from the blue or the decimal point, which is part of the whole. And that's what really what we're going to be working with today. So a common mistake would be that sometimes people just aren't sure where to put the decimal point or they add extra zeros. Um, but doing that really changes the amount. Three tenths is not equal to three hundredths is not, not equal to three. So let's actually take a look at that, at that first value. Um, three tenths. And you could probably even hear how it sounds like a fraction. Uh, sometimes you might even hear people say 0.3, and it means the same thing. So even by hearing it, you can probably write it, but let's actually take a look at what this would look like on a place value chart. Um, our value right now says zero holes, so or zero ones. Then we have the decimal point, and then the three falls right into that tenths category. So it's three tenths, or three out of ten, which would look like this, three tenths. We can check that by plotting it on a number line. Um, if we split up the whole into 10 equal parts, like our denominator says, and then 3 would be our numerator, or how much we would shade, it would look like this, 3 tenths. Let's take a look at that first decimal we were introduced to, 7 tenths, or 0.7. Uh, let's plot this value on a place value chart to see what those digits represent. We have 0, 1's, our decimal point, and then 7 tenths. If we were to place this value on a number line, you would see that 7 out of the 10 parts would be shaded in. So 7 parts are shaded, that becomes our numerator, and out of 10 parts, our total number of parts, is our denominator, or 10. So in this lesson, you learned how to convert decimals to fractions to the tenths place by looking at a number line.